observing hands. Patron is Kathleen Sobata in honor of her mother and father. Title Garden of Glory, artist Paula Yochum or Yochum. Wow. From the outside here. Capitol Parkway. Beautiful. Water sculpture over there. Here at Sunken Gardens in Lincoln, Nebraska, one of the 300 best gardens to visit in the United States, adorable tree-lined streets. So let me take you on a tour of these beautiful, beautiful gardens. Hope you'll join me. place in the city, either in or out of the parks. The ground itself lends itself perfectly to the making of a sunken garden at the same time, a spot rich in beauty. E. M. Bear, November 1930. on a walk through the sunken gardens. Linda here guys, serene and simple life. And a serene and simple day it is. Traveling through Lincoln, Nebraska. I had, it is the capital of Nebraska. And I absolutely had no idea, we'll go up those stairs later, how big Lincoln was. So much that I called last night to see if there was an entrance fee, which there is not, and how the traffic would be, because <laughs> it was around 5.30. Well, I got into Lincoln this morning around 10, and oh my gosh, look at this. Woo! Fantastic. I hope you can see it's really, really bright. So I asked her how the flowers were. She said this is the best time of year and that Lincoln is not like the big cities that we think of, LA, Chicago, you know, New York, places you do not want to be at 5.30. So when I drove in this morning, I was smiling because it is a very small city to be the capital and I am just in awe right now. So this is Wednesday Wanders. I googled places to see in Nebraska and this came up and it said it is the only garden in Nebraska to be listed in the National Geographic Book of Gardens, one of the 300 top gardens to see in the U.S. 
only one listed in the National Geographic book. So this was formed in 1930, 1931 in the winter. So however that works, because Nebraska gets pretty severe winters from what I gather. And there's just butterflies flying around. Just a few people here. Love the nature sounds. This is absolutely stunning. There is butterflies everywhere I turn here. Okay guys, and I have to tell you as I walk along here and you enjoy this beauty. I saw an apartment complex off to the right as I'm driving downtown Lincoln and had beautiful front, you know, gray and white, very contemporary looking. And I was like, wow, I was always attracted to the architecture of contemporary looking apartments. And, you know, for the most part, that's young people. They're going to college. <laughs> they don't have families yet, especially in, you know, smaller places. I know there's a lot of people who live in apartments because they can't afford houses. I, I get that. Ooh, look at that. But I got this crazy feeling. If I was in that apartment, I put myself in the apartment, what would I have been doing this morning as I got up? As I'm driving, knowing that I'm going to be seeing these beautiful gardens, and I really didn't realize how beautiful they would be. So I am going to take another walk through here. And I would have been getting up, maybe sitting on the deck this morning because it's a beautiful, beautiful day, wondering what to do. I would turn the television on right away to get rid of some of the silence. Um, yeah, there's days when I'll get up and pray and read my Bible, but not often, not often as I should. And so I turned the TV on and now it's 10 o'clock. So I'm thinking, oh, I probably would make an egg and then I'd be dilly dallying and that sense of lonely quiet would come over me. And I would figure out what to do. I'd open up my laptop. I'd probably do some social media work. Um, be looking at my bank account, figuring out how to expand, say it, display it. Which have a great product, but cash flow's the issue. And I know God in his timing will take care of that. But anyways, and then I got to thinking how fantastic my life is and what a turn it has taken from the days in the apartment or apartments or one room or in when I owned my own home a couple times gone from waking up with same old same old every day oh oftentimes definitely getting ready to go to a side job so I've always worked worked for 45 years I'm still working but my work is my play now and of course not chasing the rent many of you know that from my personal story look at this but I'm so thankful to be here so that's kind of the wrap up of um, here I am in Lincoln Nebraska last place I was at Louisville Texas sitting in one room looking at staring out the window um, I often used her front porch area to put up a little tray table and do some work to be outside but today God has brought me to the sunken gardens in Lincoln Nebraska and I am so very very grateful guys look at some close-ups here of these flowers Who would have thought, you know, all the way from Louisville, Texas, 11 states later, look at these close-ups, 14 national parks, 
probably well over 70 cities. I said 70, but I'm thinking more now. Oh, probably at least 15 to 20 city parks. And again, countless libraries. And here we are today in Sunken Gardens. I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Do some close-ups here. I'll have a little picture video at the end with some music if you want to continue to enjoy the beauty without the babbling brook. And I hope today that this will be a video that would con that you would contemplate and think about your life and your abilities. And not a I know that there are many of you out there who are not able health reasons and such my heart goes out to you and i'm thankful for you and i pray for you look at these fish guys perhaps some of you may be able to do small trips and just use google use people you see out and about to find where those treasures, what I'm calling wonders today on Wonder Wednesday, where they are. I was in uh, Lexington, uh, Nebraska yesterday, close up of the butterflies, maybe. <laughs> they are a hard one to photograph. They're a mover. My favorite. Anyways, I was in Lexington and told uh, the clerk there, a really nice lady, like, I don't know, my age. And I said to her I was going to Sunken Gardens and had she ever been there. She looked at me cross-eyed like, never heard of it. And believe me, I am guilty of that. When I was in all these different, you know, living in all these different areas, I didn't always know what was next door. I didn't know what there was to see. And, and truthfully, this is two, three hour trip. So, you know, it's like, all right, do you want to go two, three hours down the road and come home and have to go to work the next day or whatever it is you do, spend the gas money? You know, maybe not even be able to afford the two, three hour trip. There was lots of times where I was you know, pinching pennies, and I wasn't going to do the any trips. So, I understand that she, but, and then today I ran into, uh, oh, look at this, Arked in the Garden. How pretty is that flag? Some more close-ups, guys. I think the sun's doing us well. It was rainy this morning and cloudy. And I thought, oh, here I am getting another late start. I gotta stop worrying about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not worrying about it, but sometimes I just put too much emphasis on that. Wow, these are definitely some photographs that I may even use in my Say It Display It collections. I can't wait. There's a butterfly, there he goes. So I just met somebody who is a retired 45 years in ICU intensive care nurse oh my gosh she looked to be maybe a little younger than me she was with her friend and she has plans to go see her kids in Idaho and then um, some other things but she seemed quite impressed with what I was doing and you know you can always tell or not always, but I get a vibe from people when they think I'm just totally off the wall weird or when they're really saying, you go girl. <laughs> and this was a you go girl moment and, I, and it felt good. So I think we'll head on over here to the up the stairs. And I know maybe this is getting a little long, so I'm going to take some pictures again and do the little video at the end of some, a music but we'll see what's up here. Loving memorials along the walkway. I 
love when they do this with the bricks. Just a handful of people here, guys, mid-September. First time, I think, that I can say in the past year, a year, a week now, that I've walked through gardens. I mean, I did a lot of sightseeing in April, and then May through September, I was working the seasonal jobs. So, wasn't out looking at gardens, and I'm just so excited to be headed east. Oh, blessed, blessed. It's from the, a different vantage here. This is down below now. I think these flowers might be called impatience. Yeah, I need my mom here. And I really like the fact that they don't have signs everywhere, even though you kind of want to know what these are, but, you know, that's what Google's for. So, impatience. I tried to line a walkway once with these back in Pennsylvania. I don't know, my impatience never looked like these, if that's what these are. And just love this green oh my gosh guys and then over here look at these blue skies I forget what this is called my mom would know if any of you guys know put it in the comments yay yay for positive helpful Encouraging, inspiring comments. So up the stairs we go. And up to the top. My daily exercise. Ha! Let's see what the treasure is up above here. The wonder. Ooh, look at this, guys. What a great little place to come to meditate, to put out a yoga mat, <laughs> never done that, uh, to be still, be quiet, read the Bible, read your favorite inspirational book, watch YouTube videos, <laughs> you know I had to add that. But this is gorgeous. And I read that there was a former sculpture was a lady with the water jug pouring water and it got dilapidated and they took it down and put up this new sculpture. I think this is where that's at. Look at those beautiful skies. So I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little snippet, maybe for some of you a tease, and that when you're going through Nebraska, you too will stop at the Sunken Gardens and experience some of the less popular places in life. Here's from up above. Wow, that's stunning. There's another pathway down here. I'll give you one more shot here. Look at that. And be signing off for today. And I hope you will watch the little music video in addition to the babbling brook guys this is I, I just can't I can't express this enough and this is one of the top uh, well this is in the National Geographic book the only uh, garden in uh, Nebraska that's in there but there are there are uh, 50 in there 
from all over the country. One of my favorite things to do. I'll tell you, if I don't do anything else today, except get back on the road, this has been a full day and it is only noon. Down the stairs here. Love this from up above. And a little water. And there she is. I had another one earlier. I don't know, I can't, I just keep showing you more and more. I can't help it. I just love to share these with you and encourage you and inspire you, empower you to go see and do. Blessings in your day, guys. Joy in the journey. as we head on down the path and say, see you later.